Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Uh, today I want to go ahead and talk about day four of the Righteous Fire SSF progression. We have been cruising. Life has been a breeze. Uh, so I'm going to talk about a few points that we hit. Uh, and then I'm going to go run a tier 14 map for some progression. So uh, some of the big things that changed from yesterday. We ended up finishing our Holy Chainmail grind through Emperor of Purity. I want to say it took between 80 to like 120 probably more um this is just like a rough estimate of um between chaining overgrown shrine and overgrown ruin this is also including the fact that you know i'd say half of them were alk half of them were magic just because of sustain but i would say like four of them i forced delirium with delirium orbs you know went all out with my um gilded slash wing div scarabs put on ulva or strong boxes with full strong box passives Sadly, I got zero out of strong boxes. I think I got two out of the like literal delirium mobs, uh, and then the rest of them were all just through maps. So I was pretty happy with that. Ended up just going with this as our current holy chainmail. So I've got a T4 life there that was forced with essence. Um, if you guys are unaware of what that is, that's going to be uh, this right here. Ideally, the highest, the higher you go, the better. So like shrieking essence of greed would be better, and then the one past that would be even better. Um, so I'll be working on this chest piece another time, but this is good enough for now. So just to reiterate, it's got life with a hybrid role there, and then the life as ES, which we essentially were doing betrayal for, and then my suffixes are pretty shit, so that's pretty much it. Then, uh, I also went ahead and started using my Eldritch currency that I farmed, so that would be this stuff right here. So on chest piece, I got fire damage and determination aura effect. Ideally, instead of fire damage, max all res would be best, but I was running out of currency, so fire damage is at least usable. I got a new pair of boots yesterday. Um, these boots basically were unveiled, so 28% movement speed with 11% movement speed. They have one res, 85 life regen, and a little bit of deck, so that was pretty cool. Um, I tried rolling the boots with the currency with what I had. The armor from equipped helmet and gloves gives me like 1k armor in total, so it's not that bad, but not ideal i forgot what you can get on boots but i know you can get max fire res still using the same bell i've been trying to roll my stygian over here in harvest uh they have not been they're just being very toxic um i do have this jewel this one this one is it this one no i have uh, i think it's in here maybe do i have an abyss this one i have a jewel sitting here waiting for me this is like pretty good dex life increased damage over time on shield so whenever i can get a essentially a stygian i already have a jewel ready to go in which is pretty cool um but yeah i'm also rolling marble amulets here i should actually throw out this one these are 83 81 83 so trying to roll these for a better amulet since my current amulet is pretty poo poo i could also delirium craft so we are waiting on that uh, furthermore um i vault my only 2020 righteous fire and it went down and bricked um i don't know where i put it but that did kind of suck so now i'm leveling basically another righteous fire over here um i have to actually flip these i forgot about that we leveled those yesterday and then i've got some fire traps here ready to be vaulted soon um what else did we do we did some blight maps yesterday so i got arsonist anointed uh, my blight map was pretty much given to me through kirak uh, i did have harbinger on my atlas for quite a while so when i started like finally being done with the t4 t5 grind i went full harbinger but i don't know harbinger is really really good like penny change but i didn't really need penny change i needed essences so i went back into essence and essentially i want to get a bulk of essence before respecking. i think i'm going to try just going with a conch burn helmet and not trying to force an essence of horror but essence of delirium is also very very good for me so essences are probably going to stay but I'm not 100 percent sure um yeah, that's pretty much about it with the Atlas stuff. You can pretty much see where I'm going. I'm going for like over sustain to make sure I can super sustain tier 14 plus. And then once I start getting watchstones, I'm most likely going to pull out of the map sustain. Um, and then the last thing is for my T14 Guardians, I'm probably going to run packed with energy specifically for Guardian maps because I can just use a Sulfite Scarab or use Nico. And I basically get what, like 100% increased damage in three all res and 45% movement speed that sounds fantastic for uh getting like early damage into guardian maps 
All right, with that being said, let me go jump into our tier 14 primordial pool. Uh, let me just go over here real fast and flip these gems two, and also add fragment one, two, three. And then we're going to force ambush here. And then I just have to put back uh banner. Alright. My mana is spent. Display capture. There we go. I'm gonna have to mess with my loot filter today as well. I do not like how much stuff it's showing. Maybe tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'm also full shrines as well. I really like shrines with Righteous Fire because you basically can just Infernal Cry in the middle of the shrine and pop pretty much majority of the shrine. Maven is so loud. Honestly, the single target is still really good considering I'm on a three link fire trap with fire trap, burn damage, life tap. That's, uh, that's all I'm running. Very impressed with the single target. I know it will slow down a lot at Guardians, but I don't know. It's just really cozy right now. I guess it's because I never got to progress with Fire Trap. I progressed with Flame Wall before. I could, that's most likely why. Oh yeah, and then on my gloves, I forgot. I got lucky and hit uh, Fire Exposure. And then I hit Attack Speed. So, Attack Speed just so I can Chill Charge faster. I do need to go into Elemental Mastery now for the uh, minimum exposure. Because that would be big I damage. I have time to gather my will. Then we're going to have to craft a new weapon once we can unlock multi-mod. Alright, that's pretty much the map. Yep. Well, as always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Uh, I'm sure as you guys have seen, based off the Atlas here, we are going to start pushing the Tier 14 content to try to get Maven 10-way invitations. Uh, I actually need to do three more T10 maps, and then I'm actually done with the uh, Maven Witness invitations. And then I have, like, the actual Maven invitations where I believe you can start getting splinters. I don't think you get splinters from the, the questing ones, but I could be wrong. This is going to be like a big step into like our big boy pants. I am very scared of fighting Maven. <laughs> I'm scared of failure on my stream and most likely going to break my first Maven. But, you know, this is what SSF is all about. It's about pushing myself out of my comfort zone. So, uh, yeah, very excited yet terrified at the same time of the Maven encounter. But anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, feel free to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box i uh, make these videos right after i wake up right before i start my stream that's why i'm still like half asleep somewhat so if you're watching this video right as it come out or it comes out you can literally go to my live stream and you will see the progression right after this video uh since i had a few people asking me anyway 
Catch you guys all later. Thanks for watching.